Well, Victoria National confirms it's changing owners, and some golfers think it's a hole-in-one. The Tri-State Treasure is one of the best in the country, but it wasn't always. Eyewitness News' Stuart Hammer looks back at the early days of this elite course. I'm probably a 19, 20 handicap. That's good for me. <laughs> it's as American as apple pie. I got my album out to show him some of the pictures. Opportunity and innovation. That was across from our house. From trash to treasure. So you can see it, there's nothing out there right now. Nothing at all. Through the mid-90s, Elizabeth Morgan watched from her backyard. Victoria National grow from a strip mine to one of the top golf courses in the country. These pictures are of setting the bridge in our channel. I called it our channel. <laughs> I just got it floating down the river. And Building didn't come without bumps. It didn't fall down. It fell over. <laughs> but Americans always bounce back. And this is what happened to it. <laughs> but see how rough the golf course is? For two decades... That's all steel and they put it together. She's felt a connection to one of golf's greats. Here's uh, uh, Friedman and I don't remember this man's name. Every memory carefully clipped and organized. You don't need the pictures when you were there with them. She's played Victoria a few times, but with the new owners, she's hoping to add a few pages to her scrapbook. Here's some more, some really good ones. The course will be owned by the Dormy Network from Nebraska, and Elizabeth has an idea for the new leaders. Maybe every once in a while, open the course to the public. Opportunity is one of the great American values. Yep. But like the game of golf, so patience is power. I know that. <laughs> Stuart Hammer, Eyewitness News. Victoria National officials did not answer questions about the new ownership today. They say the sale will be completed in the next six to eight weeks.